Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Spaced out with it. Anunnaki. 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 I'm spaced out with it. Anunnaki. 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 We can't really offer them except maybe work, do some work for them. They won't come up as long as we feed them down there. We can't really offer them except maybe work, do some work for them. You understand? It's about human beings selling themselves out. The echelon attitude here, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the men. And sorry, that just isn't right. You know, but it's going to have to be humanity that's going to rise up and take the stand. You're just going to have to turn off your televisions. They're going to have to get in their car. They're going to have to fire everybody in Washington, D.C. that knows and does nothing. And they're going to have to do something. You know, this apathy's got to end. Otherwise, the way we live is going to end. Look at what's happening around us. The indications are everywhere. Everywhere. The truth is now an obscure thing. Because they don't like us. And what are they willing to do? Not yet. Anunnaki, they spaced out with it. Anunnaki. There's no Anunnaki. need for us. I mean, look, look at Anunnaki. where we are. Look at us right now Anunnaki. as a civilization, spaced as a society. Anunnaki. Okay? They don't need anything. Spaced they have all this Anunnaki. technology that they want. We can't spaced really offer them except Anunnaki. maybe work, do some work for them. But they don't need all of us Anunnaki. to work for them. They don't respect human life in any way. We're starting to feed off each other now. They're ugly. I mean, they think we're ugly. I guess it's all a matter of perspective and belief system. In my belief system, I won't take a responsibility for me. They're, ugly. They're anywhere from 7 to 22 feet tall. They can weigh up to 18 pounds. Uh, they're reptilian. Whenever you see one, you ought to just run like hell. You shouldn't approach it. You shouldn't provoke it. Just get the hell out of its way. Just get out of its way. Just run. There is a way to kill them. If you can't cut off their head, they have two arms. Here, underneath this arm, okay, and one here. Or, if you can't get to that area, you need to slow it down. You need to hit it right above its groin area. And it's a very large liver. You need to wound it there to slow it down. Um, it is not something where man-to-man combat you're going to be able to, to deal with. Because they not currently have the strength of, of 12 to 15 men. They're incredibly not spaced out. They know what you're going to do before you do that. You know, if they get here in mass, we don't like them. Spaced out with it. They don't like us. We're, we're considered a food source for them. Spaced out with it. Them, you know, we're a food source for the grays, but an entirely Based different out way. Spaced out with it. Right now, it's very dangerous for humanity. Spaced out it's with it. And it's part of the plan. It's part of their recipe. Spaced out with it. And you know that they're building concentration camps to put millions of people in? You've got the grays over us. You've got the reptilians underneath us. And between us, you've got humanity. The American people, I mean all of the world, but you've got humanity sandwiched in the middle, wondering what the hell is going on. As one scientist put it, we would be better off not meeting them. Sleep tight. The deeper issues behind this, and that is the issues that the things behind the pharaonic bloodline are in fact not human entities. This is something that we, a lot of people on the tube are waking up to. Um, the reptilian agenda about these reptilian entities we need to wake up to them they are a reality they are not human in any way shape or form and their business is death um, it's not just a question of secret societies and masons and international banking we understand that we, we need to dig deeper and go further into this you know what is happening you know, what, what are these symbols about what do they mean and we're starting to understand what they mean. They mean a different bloodline. And that different bloodline are the reptilians. We need to wake up that we have an intraspecies predator amongst us. And this is a fact. They have no hearts. They take decisions only money-wise and financially elite. They were in no war at all. It's very... Um, uh, do you think they might be reptilians? 
I think that there are a lot of reptilians. I know Switzerland yeah. is the base of the pharaohs, uh, so uh, you might say you're into reptilians and, uh, and uh, lizards, so uh, would, would, would you say that Switzerland is the base of the reptilians? Uh, the truth is, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very, very evil place in terms of what it finances and what they get up to. We know that. We need to wake up that we have an intraspecies predator amongst us, and this is a fact. And they are very clever, they're very patient, and they're very ritualistic. As you can see, ritual is very, very important to them. So it turns out that if aliens ever show up here on Earth, little green men might be the least of our problems. A new study indicates that instead, they'll probably be more like super intelligent dinosaurs. Sleep tight.